Hi, I'm Adrian. I work here at Adobe on the Flash team. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the Google Nexus One. It's a brand new phone. The hardware design is done by HTC. It's running the most recent version of the Android operating system. The core processor is a Qualcomm Snapdragon, a very high performance chip. And if you put all those pieces together, you'll quickly realize that they're all members of the Open Screen Project. And they've been active participants in making sure that Flash Player 10.1 provide great performance on mobile devices. So what I'm going to show for you today is a preview of some of the work that we've been doing. We'll take a look at a couple of different sites that highlight the performance of the Snapdragon chip, the flexibility of the Android operating system, uh, and really highlight exactly what it is the Nexus One is going to allow you to do out there on the web. So the first site that I'm going to go to uh, clicking here on the browser, is miniclip.com. The first game that I'm going to is one called Alien Attack. Uh, and I'll give you a sense for the types of user interfaces that work really well. We've been working with a lot of the game sites to make sure that they have really easy access to some of the most interesting games that work well on touchscreen. This is one where you're just uh, using this gun to, to protect your space. It's a very simple uh, shooter type of game. That one tricked me. The blue ones are your friends, so you're not supposed to shoot them. You just shoot the other little uh, fighters there. But a lot of interactivity going on here as these guys are appearing, some of them very quickly, almost as quickly as I can push the button, uh, taking those shots and, and firing. And then when you get to the end, you have a, a high score uh, that gets submitted up and you're competing against the people that are playing on their, on their PCs as well. So that's miniclip.com. Uh, one of the sites that we've been working with. I want to show you another site as well. I'm going over to nationalgeographic.com. Uh, up at the top of the page, there's a little bit of a banner ad uh, built using Flash. So National Geographic is getting a lot of their monetization using Flash. They're using Flash for their navigation. Towards the center here is a great graphic that's showing you different pieces of content. And it's sort of scrolling through them, giving you access to those pieces of content so that you can navigate more efficiently. You get a, a, a great little bit of interaction inside the site there. Over on the right, you can see another advertisement, this one for dog food. So a little bit different type of advertisement. And you begin to get a sense for how Flash is at the core of a business model for a site like nationalgeographic.com. I'm going to zoom over here to the, to the center of the page. Uh, and they're using Flash for video. Right? This is a very common sort of delivery mechanism for video. Over 80% of the video that's out there on the web is delivered using Flash. So this is a great video showing how silk is produced uh, in an antique factory made originally by the Medici family hundreds of years ago in Italy, but still in production today. So we've seen a little bit of a preview of what's coming with Flash Player 10.1 on the Nexus One. A lot of the way that people consume information uh, and find out what it is that they want to read, view, and interact with on the web is delivered using Flash. So that's why the partnership that we have with Qualcomm, HTC, and Google to deliver a great experience with Flash Player 10.1 on the Nexus One is so important. Uh, taking advantage of the performance of the Snapdragon chip, taking advantage of the flexibility of the Android operating system, and the great hardware design that HTC has provided. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do to get this ready, uh, but if you go out there right now, you can buy a Nexus One, begin using it, uh, and as Flash Player becomes available, we're going to push it to you over the web. Uh, so you can get it, immediately begin to access a ton of the content that's out there, and really take advantage of the full capabilities of the web. Again, I'm Adrian from the Flash team. Thank you very much.